In this lesson, we are going to relate fractions, decimals, and money. First, let's count the money. Then we'll write the amount as a fraction or mixed number and as a decimal. I'm going to start by counting my quarters. I have three quarters. Each quarter is 25 cents. 25 cents plus another quarter I have 50 cents plus another quarter I have 75 cents. I'll add my dime which is 10 cents. Now I have 85 cents plus a nickel which is 5 cents which brings me to 90 cents plus another nickel I have 95 cents. My total is zero dollars and ninety-five cents. If I'm going to write this as a fraction, I write it as ninety-five hundredths. And as a decimal, I write it zero decimal ninety-five to show ninety-five hundredths. Take a look at this example. First, we're going to count the money. I have two quarters, which is equal to 50 cents. Next, I'm going to count my dimes. Each dime is 10 cents. So I have 50 cents plus a dime, 60 cents. Another dime, 70 cents. Another dime, 80 cents. Plus my nickels, I'll count by fives. I'm at 80 cents, 85 cents, 90 cents, 95 cents, and a dollar. Now I'll count my pennies. I have one, two, three, four, five pennies. So my total is one dollar and five cents. To write this as a fraction, it's going to be a mixed number. I have one whole and five hundredths. If I write this as a decimal, I write one and five hundredths. Let's count this amount. I see I have two whole dollars. Now I'm going to count the change. I'll start with my dimes. I have 10, 20, 30 cents. And now my pennies, I have one, two, three, four, five pennies. So I have 35 cents. The total is two dollars and thirty-five cents. To write this as a fraction, it's going to be a mixed number. I have two holes and thirty-five hundredths. As a decimal, we write two and thirty-five hundredths. Let's count this amount. I see I have two dollars. Now let's count the change. Each quarter is 25 cents. I'll start with my biggest coin, which is the quarter. 25 cents, 50 cents. Now I'm going to my next largest coin, which is the dime. I'm at 50 cents. Now I count by tens. 60 cents, 70 cents, 80 cents. Next I'll count my nickels. 85 cents, 90 cents, 95 cents. Now I'll count my pennies. I have one, two, three, four, five pennies. Now I have one dollar in change. This totals to three dollars. To write this as a fraction, I can write three holes and zero hundredths. As a decimal, I write three and zero hundredths. Let's count this money. I see I have three dollars. Now I'll count my change. Starting with my quarter, 25 cents next to my dime, 35 cents, 45 cents. Now I'll count my nickels, 50 cents, 55 cents, 60 cents, and I'll count my pennies, 61, 62. I have three dollars and 62 cents. As a fraction, I can write a mixed number. 
three wholes and 62 hundredths. As a decimal, I write three and 62 hundredths. And this concludes our lesson on relating fractions, decimals, and money.